I'm on the ship! I'm on the fucking ship! Uh-oh. Oh no, Eralder. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright. Here. Okay. Let's take care of some business here, then. Oh, look at Eralder's fancy hat. Oh, jeez. Did they just kill him in one hit? Oh my god, Eralder! Eralder, no! I'm taking your money and key. Alright. There we go. Am I supposed to... There we are. And... Doink! You're off the boat! Let's see. There we are! Oh my god! Holy shit! Look at that guy go- Whoa! Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Oblivion. We are out here in the Imperial City Temple District, where we are continuing to explore this rich and magical world. Around every corner, there is a new adventure and a new person with a strange and important problem that needs our help, which is why today we're going to be looking through houses. <laughs> All right, let's head on into the malleable penis's house. Let's see here there we go perfectly fine <laughs> a world filled with limitless adventure and thousands of hours of exciting thrills and what do we do we steal bottles of mead and cheap wine <laughs> all right oh god what did i just take there did i just take two mead oh yeah i did huh. uh, what do you know all right let's grab some tomatoes here we go get the usual thing going and of course in between videos i did also, the usual thing of clearing out the old inventory, getting a little bit of room for grabbing up more complete garbage. <laughs> I mean, I guess it, there is some value to it, right? There is some degree of value, but uh, relative to a lot of the other things, we've... The, uh, the unit of weight to value ratio has really become skewed in a very different way recently, huh? All right. Let's see, let's pick through this. I wonder, since we started doing this, how many units of weight we've picked up relative to the actual value of items, right? Compared to how it used to be. Goodness. Alright, let's get a couple of these arrows and some boots. You know, we'll take a cure as too. Why not? I'm feeling frisky. Let's see, pewter cups, pewter bowls, no thanks. Don't want any of that. A burlap vest, though. Now you're speaking my language. There we go, a couple of gold pieces, a little fun chair down here. Just, you know, sometimes you like to sit down in your basement and just take in all the wine collections that you have. Just watch them age. <laughs> just watch them age. Old Malleable Penis would love that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Old Malleable Penis of the Temple District. Good lord, what a champion. Alright, let's see, Darkest Darkness. Anything up here? Man, look, there is really a lot of wine in this house. Huh. Jeez. Okay. Let's see. We'll take some bread, a couple of cheeses, and chest here. What have we got? But, eh, we'll take some gauntlets. All right. Anything over here? Eastern provinces may as well. And inside this, a little sack. We'll take all that. Okay. And some painting stuff going on in here as well. Never did get to start in their painting. Oh, how sad. All right. What do we have in this one? Anything good? Uh, some gold. I guess we'll take a crystal ball. Alright. Anything up top here? Nope. Yeah, they aren't too keen on hiding stuff up there in, uh, the Imperial City, are they? Okay. Let's see. Did we check in this one? No, we did not. What have you got for us? Let's see. Anything good? Nope. Room and hourglass. Okay. Fine, fine. Let's continue on. Clear this one out. Let's see, there's only three. Oh, no, wait, this one has four. How do you think that worked out? How'd they manage to fit four houses there? <laughs> huh. All right. I don't know. Maybe someone took a smaller house? I mean, that seemed like a smaller house, didn't Hello. it? Old Penis Malleus's house. All right. Let's go in here. Sirius Afranius. There we go. I don't even know if we've met Sirius Afranius yet. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're dead. Maybe they vanished for some weird reason. There we go. Anything in here? Take one potato. And cupboard filled with beef, venison, cheese wedge. Good, good, good. 
All right, and then in here, let's check this one out. There we are. Honestly, part of me is surprised that they didn't blow up any of the buildings here either during the big fight. You know, since a lot of these buildings are completely useless, right? There's no actual quests that lead you here, so it's not terribly poor. And I mean, I guess there is the off chance that maybe a player, for whatever reason, would decide to take one of these houses as their own and fill it with a whole bunch of shit, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess what can you do? <laughs> Old Lord Dagon just stomps down and then uh, like a million... <laughs> a million, uh, <laughs> what do you call them? Alien uh, <laughs> ancient relics come pouring out. Just, <laughs> yeah, a thousand pelvises come flying out of the house. What Get the fuck? Oh, God. Whoop. I hope see. I can help. Sirius Afrenius, tell me a rumor. A friend of mine is a member of the Legion. He said some Altmer nobleman was murdered right here in the city. Phalian, I think his name was. Oh my god. I don't even remember why this person was murdered. Good day. Alright, can we check on up in here? Oh look, we totally can. Even though he's right there, maybe the creamy man's distracting him. Alright. Let's see. Over here. <laughs> Old Lord Dagon, yeah. <laughs> if he stepped on my fucking house being out here, just loads of butts come pouring out of it. He's disgusting. He's like, oh, God. It's like when someone steps in uh, some dog poop and they don't realize it. First, they're like, oh, God, what is what is it? <laughs> he just runs off back to oblivion, warps away. Good Lord. The ultimate defense, apparently, against <laughs> the Daedric demonic forces. huh? Let's see. Anything else over here? There we go. Let's see, that's what, uh... <laughs> that's what Martin should have turned into, obviously. Come on, he knew what I liked! He should have just turned into a giant butt, rather than a dragon. Just turn into a giant butt and fart on old Lord Dagon. Scare him off that way, come on! We all know it would work! <laughs> Alright, but I guess some people don't like the idea of having a giant ass in the middle of the Temple District, jeez! Come on, we're talking about Martin Septim and his glorious super, uh, god king ass. All right, let's head on. A oh wait, are one of you all a beggar? Look at the muscles no. on you. Huh? I don't think we've ever spoken with her Isn't though, have Teddy we? Isn't Teddy as a dreamboat? Oh. I'm Romana Falaria. I'm such a lucky girl. What? What is this? She's like Nadine from Twin Peaks. Let's see, Imperial City? The watch is so completely on my ass. <laughs> so I got to lay low for a while. I got some dosh stashed, so I'm fine for now. Holy shit, Romana Faleri is cool as hell. I know, the watch is on your ass all the damn time. The all right. The Good lord. I didn't know a fucking cool general. person lived all the way out here. What is her name again? Where does she live? Are you sure? Where do you think her dosh is stashed at? No doubt. Romana Faleria. Are one of these houses hers? Maybe we'll find her dosh stash. Romana, Romana. No! Have we already been in it? No, we have not! Where in the world does she live? Huh. Man, she's really staying fucking low. Man, she's so deep undercover, she, she might not even remember where she lives anymore. Stantis Vareed's house. There we go. Pick into here, hope nobody's home. I like that one fucking guy. Alright. Anybody? No, I think we're home clear. Alright. Let's see. Silver goblets. Take some of that. Oh, yeah. I'll take a silver bowl. A couple of these babies. There we are. And over here, what have we got? Lettuce. I guess we'll take some. Okay. One and two. Cool. Alright. Should we check out the basement? Oh, hell yeah, we should. There we go. Alright. And let's see. And you know, speaking of, <laughs> speaking of Martin Septum turning into a giant farting butt, how come, why was it, why didn't old uh, Uriel Septum turn into a dragon or anything, huh? That seems like that would have been a pretty good idea, if you were holding on to that one. He had the Amulet of Kings, didn't he? He was in a tough, uh, tight spot. Was it because of lighting the dragon fires that allowed him to transform? Huh. Man, if only he just, like, if he knew it was coming. And he, and he knew he had to die anyway. Why not just turn yourself into a giant dragon just for the fun of it, right? Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Head on over here. <laughs> I guess it's good that he didn't turn into a dragon while he was underneath the city, right? <laughs> Especially when it turns into stone. Just all of a sudden, just people just having their own dinner. 
old Romana. She's making her secret stash of dosh because the Imperial Guard, they're just all up on her ass. My god, they are so all over her ass. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> ripping out of the ground is a giant Uriel Septum dragon made of stone, smiling at you, winking at you as you're hiding your secret payload of monies. Oh my god. Honestly, it's like a dream come true. <laughs> oh my god, is this the Emperor in my house? Oh jeez, I did I didn't put out any food or anything. Oh my god, he's famous, he's why well, he's the Emperor <laughs> Good lord. Alright, let's see over here. Pick through this. There we are. Good. Let's see, what have we got in here? Some strawberries. Good. And let's see, this little secret chest back here, hidden away in a corner. Oh my gosh, they almost thought I wouldn't see it, but oh, lo and behold, you can't hide anything from the gray fox, huh? <laughs> God. All right, we'll take a couple of these arrows, I guess. There we are. Should we take some of this stuff, too? Yeah, chainmail gauntlets, they're very lightweight. Okay, take some of these fancy clothes. There we are. Good, good, good. All right, and inside this door... Man, just so many buildings with no actual ultimate purpose, right? Okay. There we go. It's not like there's any radiant quests that could send you to them, right? Huh. Interesting stuff. Alright. Let's pick into this. What have we got? But... Let's see. Copper necklace, two gold. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see over here. Anything else in this? Guide to Bruma, Argonian Account Book 4. Alright, because that was one of the things I remember from the Thieves Guild of Skyrim Land, is the how the Radiant Quest system worked in that game. To where you would end up, I think it, wouldn't it? And you, it could potentially send you to almost anyone's house in that game, right? So every house potentially had a, a use as part of a Radiant Quest, I think. I don't know, it's been too long. I shouldn't be talking about stuff that uh, I played so, so long ago and don't know anything about. All right. Let's see. Let's open up our map over here and... Oh, no. We, we should go around the other direction, shouldn't we, here? Yeah. There we are. Good, good, good. All right. Man, do you think they'll ever actually fix all this stuff up? All these massive potholes and stuff? Goodness. I mean... Huh. Where do you think they source the white gold from if they need to make repairs on everything, right? Because obviously they're using the old alien stuff, right? Huh. Do you think... Is it like a unique sort of brick or whatever building material that they have to source from somewhere? I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, shopping list. Apples, onions, lard, cheese, and milk. Man, two of these... I'm not even sure if they exist. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. I should not have taken that. What a mistake. Huh. When you need protecting, wear armor made at the best defense. We'll keep you We'll keep you safe from the sharpest blades. Not very exciting compared to some of the ones we've read before, huh? Bunch of boar meat, though. Now that's exciting. <laughs> All right. Pour over a whole bunch of tomatoes. Grab them up. Let's see what's in our cupboard here. Some ham. I guess we'll take some. Do we have two mutton? I don't think we do. I think we have one. Now two. Okay, anything over here? Now well, let's check out Roland Jensrick's basement. Now Roland Jensrick, now that's a person who we've seen a lot. Oh my god, they have their own underground bar. Oh shit. Alright. Now that's something you see a lot of, huh? Okay. Oh, didn't we come down here at some point? Wasn't there like some skooma down here? Oh man. We may have had like a hit on... Roland Jensrick's house, right? To do some thieving from it? We may have done. Alright. Let's see, let's head on up over here. Check out this chest, anything good? Sure, we'll take these clothes. And another sack filled with nothing much. Alright, fair enough. Let's head on up top over here. Check out the private quarters. Yeah, all this stuff has been unlocked. We may have been through here to steal something very specific. Alright? Yeah, even this chest. Not locked up. This jewelry box. Emptied. Dude, I think we've been in this house before. Alright. And maybe that's why Roland Jensrick sounds so familiar. Because we robbed him. Okay. Let's see. Let's whip this open. 
Jamahad's place. There we go. And enter secret stealth mode. Good. Man, I don't remember a Jamahad either. Where do these people hang out at? Huh. I don't know. Alright, we'll take their sweet cakes, though. Sweet cakes and sweet carrots. Good stuff. Alright, a cupboard over here filled with a corn and a pear. Alright, we'll take a pear, I think. I think we still need one. We needed one more. Okay, anything over down here? Let's see. I mean, that's... Oh my gosh! Jeez, what the fuck happened? How did this even get in here like this? Oh god! Also, how's the sheet staying on? My god, Jamahad, you wizard! Holy shit! This bed sheet is staying on perfectly fine, the pillows and everything. Dude, this guy has not updated to Oblivion. He's still playing with Morrowind physics, everything defying all sorts of basic fundamental laws. <laughs> Alright, let's see anything inside this. Chest very hard. There we go. Let's see, what have we got? Gold and caliber. I guess we'll take it. God, I can't wait to go up into the upstairs and just see all sorts of beds, like, on the walls, on the ceiling. <laughs> Using Jamahad's secret magic. Maybe that's where those bricks came from, huh? The anti-gravity bricks? Jamahad built them with his own bare hands. His own beautiful, beautiful, sexy wizard magic hands. All right, iron gauntlets, do we want these? No, they are heavy as hell. All right, some chest, or some some barrels filled with tongs, fishing waders. It's been opening so many chests, I don't even, I don't even know what a chest looks like anymore. All right, got some clothes just thrown on the ground. Goodness, I feel that though, honestly. <laughs> After a long, hard days of work, just like, turn into a snake, right? Just throw all that shit right on the floor, right next to your bed. Molt right out of it. Alright. There we go. Cool. Good, good, good. Let us head on over to... Amontius Electus's house. Oh, this is someone I don't remember. Oh, who is this? Rene Gionette. Hey. Rene Gionette. My husband, Salomon, has a court commission to compose a symphony. Oh my god! Wow, tell me about it! I've never known a musician! It's so sad. Salomon was to compose a symphony for Uriel Septum, to be performed for the whole city in the arena. Oh, wow. Was he going to be fighting as well in the arena? I don't know if you knew this, but the arena... Rene, the arena is where people go to fight and kill each other for money! Oh, no! Did he go in there thinking that he was going to play music for them, and then they murdered him? Oh, Rene... You gotta listen to the voice when it comes on. He says, Welcome to the arena. It's, a, it's not for music. That's not what it's for. I heard that thieves broke into the Arcane University, the Imperial Legion compound, and the temple all on the same night. Oh my god. Man, we need to keep an eye out for Mr. Gionette then. Be seen. Goodness gracious. All right. Let's see. Amontius's house over here. Let's see. Very claustrophobic in this alleyway, huh? All right, pick into this before she comes down here. Goodness, she's about to straight up see us doing our deed. Oh, shit. Secret dodge. Secret dodge. Oh, God. Oh, I think no. think you should leave. Oh, good Lord. Kalia Electus. Any friend of Martin's is a friend of mine. Let's see, Imperial City. I find things to do. I manage the house, make sure Amantius doesn't starve or run out of ink. Oh, is he an author? All right. Oh, we're finding all sorts of people doing weird trades here. Huh. Alright. Good lord. I want to get up in there, though. Let's see, back to the temple district. Hmm. Maybe we can wait until she's snoozing or something and sneak back in. Let's see here. Let's see. Yeah, we don't have a bounty, so let's wait... Eh, five hours. There we go. Maybe we'll be able to see something that he was writing on, right? Another weird little note or excerpt. Let's see. Let's do a quick save here. Oh, is that him? Oh my god. What That's is... him! The author! I used to think you were a hero. Alright, alright. Oh, we've already spoken with him before. Farewell. Alright, fine. Shit, we need to tail this dude. Alright. Let's see. Should we wait a bit out here now that he's inside? Yeah, let's wait one hour. There we go. He should be snoozing by now. 
All right. There we go. And we'll just sneak our ass right on up in here. Ooh, there we go. All right. What have you got? Inkwell. Quill. Of course. Okay. What else is around? Oh, my God! What? He's the vamp plant guy? No way! What? He's the vamp plant dude? Old Amontius Electus? What the fuck? I thought he was... What? Is so she trying to, like, lie and cover for him? He's not actually an author at all? Oh, weird. Instead, he's trying to grow vampire plants. Huh. Alright. Burgundy linens over here. Let's see. Going up here. Maybe she does it, though, right? Maybe she gets bored because he's just writing all damn day. And she can't be bothered to fuck around and read any of it. She hates reading. But, but she still loves him. So instead, what better way to spend your time than create a new breed of plant? Vamp plants. Good lord. If only Sundarian knew. Alright, I'm sure he'd get a real kick out of that. Let's see, what do we have down here? Iron arrows. Some cold. There we go. Good. And let's see, anything else? Oh, what have we got? A sack filled with... Oh, look! Some goodies there. Alright. And this? Knife and yarn. No, thank you. <clears throat> oh, God. Jeez, creamy man. Oh, look. <gasps> what is this? This lock cannot be picked. You need a key. For what? I'm quick saving here. Alright. You know what? I'm quick saving again. Do they not... Do they have a key on them? Why would I not already have the key, though? It's a real question. Where would it have gone? Was it part of a quest? Alright. Look. His secret key. Alright, do you think this will get us in? Oh, please. Ah, no! Oh, it won't! Maybe he's got, like, some kind of super vamp plant. Maybe she has it, though. Let's see. Anything? Anything in this sack? Another better key? Huh. Let's see here. No, nothing. What is in there? Have we been in there? What in the world? This is not a, a real door. This door doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> this is a completely fake door. Isn't it? What? Hold up. Creamy man, it's time for a little bit of hacking. Some investigative hacking here. Let's see. Dude, this is a fake door! This is not a real door! It's not a real door for people! Oh my gosh, it doesn't go anywhere! Alright. Well, that was fucking freaky as hell, creamy man. I turned into a specter of a man and went through the wall, only to discover nothing at all. Okay. Yeah, because it would lead... Wouldn't it lead right here? Or over here, maybe? On one of these sides... Oh, dude. Huh. Okay. Man, we're f we actually are finding all sorts of weird stuff. Oh, look. Solomon Giannette's house. Oh, we need to make sure to wake him up and speak to him. Right? Okay. I mean, at least maybe he'll stand a chance against... <laughs> like, well, no. Because it's me now. If he wants to go down to the arena and, and sing his songs, he'll have to go through me first. Oh, Charlotte. Oh. Oh, all right. What's in this chest? Do you think Charlotte will report our crime? Nah. All right. Charlotte's cool, right? Are we cool? Oh, we're, we are so cool. All right. Let's check out the basement here real quick. There we go. Have we actually seen any musical instruments in all of Oblivion? I'm trying to think. Like, at the very least, do any of them, any of the NPCs whip them out as like an, an idle animation? Huh. I don't think so. I feel like although we hear of music in Oblivion, apparently now, for the very first time, maybe, perhaps it wasn't actually invented until Skyrim Land, about the time the fourth era rolls around, when people actually do have musical instruments. Alright. Solomon, Giannette's private quarters. Let's see. There we go. And we should be fine just to wake them up. Right? Let's see. Oh, look. There they are. Okay. And a nice little chest here filled with some iron gauntlets. No thanks. How about this? There we go. What have you got? 
Eh, we'll take all that. There we are. And over here... Oh, look. Radishes. Always good. Okay. And let's see. Mead. Some loot root. Drawers filled with a whole bunch of stuff. We'll just take all that. Alright. Cool. Anything up top? Nah. Alright, let's do a quick save here. And let's talk to him, huh? Let's see. Solomon? Oh shit, he's very young. A pleasure to speak with you. Oh my god, she's like a cougar! Dude! Alright, tell me about the city. Soon the Elder Council must choose a new emperor. And then I suppose they'll sort out my commission. Until then, I just have to keep on working. Huh. Alright. Very well. Be seeing you. Dude, she is... <laughs> Man, she is getting her some. Right on, Rene Gionette. Fucking A. Alright. Let's see. Let's head on down. Let's take a look around. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Let's whip this open. And... Saradur's house. Head on around down here. South watch. Okay. Let's take a peek in here. Oh, look! We can freely enter Saradur's. Oh. Is this maybe the place that is dedicated to the Vamp Hunter secret crew? Maybe. <clears throat> and that's why we're able to freely enter the basement? Let's take a quick look down here. Oh, this is it. Oh, this is totally it. Hey, everybody, I'm back! Jylan Norvolo! Yes, brother? Oh, let's see, do you guys have... Oh, tell me a rumor. Someone told me that Hieronymus Lex is gone. Reassigned to Anvil. That can't be true. Oh, it is true, Jylan. But that just means we need to be ever more vigilant Vampires against the vampiric menace. So watch your back. All right, what about you, Greythroat? What can the Order help you with, brother? Let's see. Tell me a rumor. Lose the key to your house? Find Mandil. She can get in, I'll bet. No, oh, I bet there's. I bet I know one door that she can't get into. Be ever vigilant. <laughs> All right. Anything else down here? Let's see. Cheap wine, cheap wine. Chest here filled with a brown shirt. I think we're full up on brown shirts, though. Okay, some weights, scales. Eh. All right, let's head on back up. Hello again, brother. Oh, God. Do you think he'll follow me upstairs? You think I can just sneak on up here? Yeah. Check out the secret bedroom. All right. Oh, my God, there's a naked man sleeping here. Why is he so naked? Why is this man so naked? <laughs> man, that's a first. I mean... In real life, you wouldn't think too much about it. Like, sure, someone s sleeping in just their underwear. That's not so weird. But everyone else in Tamriel, they sleep fully clothed. Let's be... Let's let's nail one thing down and be positive about that. People of Tamriel love sleeping with their clothes on. They fucking love it. The feeling of it, oh, it's intoxicating to them. But this guy, oh my god, we got ourselves a trendsetter. What's up, Sylvan Dolivas? Rise and shine, you naked bastard. Welcome back. <laughs> Was he always naked? Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, this explains a lot. <laughs> All right. Man, okay. Well, you know what? I was wrong about the, the trend setting. As it turns out, he loves sleeping in a full set of Daedric armor. Jeez. Do you think the, ah. the Daedric armor <laughs> it whispers to him in his sleep, tells him terrible things to do? Isn't that something like in the in the lore or whatever that something about the Daedric armor you can hear it whisper or was it like you can feel it throbbing on occasions like the demonic some sort of demonic pulse in it? Huh. I want to say that's true, but I can't remember for sure. All right. Let's head on back over here. There we go. And let's see. Maybe they'll just tear down everyone's houses here, right? Maybe that's what they'll do rather than just kind of rebuild this cuz obviously Shit, how are you gonna rebuild the temple? This is, look at that wingspan. So, just, uh, you know, all these people who live here? Eh, fuck them. Make them live somewhere else and just turn this entire district into a giant super temple. Look, and you can even source, like, all of the white gold whatever brick to repair everything from this. Just tear that down and build up. Oh, yeah, I guess you'd need a lot more white gold to do that. Huh. Uh, they probably get from somewhere. Just rip up an alien ruin or two. They're not good for anything. I already took everything out of them. <laughs> All right. Hager's house. Let's see. Let's do a quick save just in case. Oh, look, we have their key. Maybe they were down with the Dagon. All right. 
Let's see. Maybe we'll find out some sort of Mythic Dawn super commentary reading area, right? Oh shit, already this doesn't bode well. A turned over table. An emptied cage. Oh no. There's already a mystery afoot. What do we have up here? Anything else? Oh look! Our second sweet cake. I'll take it. And up here? Let's see. Nope, nothing in there. Private quarters. Why do we have this person's key? Oh shit, we've been up in here. Oh, it's Hager. Hmm, okay. Let's see. Guide to Chain Hall, I'll take that. Let's see. Tamika's Westfield, Cirilli Brothers, Cirilli, Tamika. Okay, good. Two of each. We've got two of each except for any numbered ones, right? Good. Okay, before we wake this dude up, let's look through these other rooms real quick and make sure we've totally taken a peek at everything. Good lord, Creamy Man's trying to, like, lock us up in here. Alright. Anything over here? Uh, bread, lettuce, eh, silver vases. Oh, wait, I don't think we have vases, do we? No. Alright. Chest over here, Hager's house. Alright, let's wake him up, see if he has anything to say. I don't remember why we came to see this guy. Hey. I used to think you Alright, alright. Man, we've already totally exhausted all of his dialogue, too. Take care. Alright, let's get on out. Oh! There we go. And out and around here. Good. Oh, everybody's waking up now. Oh! Alright, so we didn't just wake him by being like a dingus. He just woke up on his own. Okay. Oh, look, hey! Greythroat's house. What was that, that other dude's name? Who was in the order of whatever the heck? Huh. Maybe he doesn't live in this district. Okay. Ruslan's house. Let's take a look in here. Do a quick save. And do a quick pick. There we are. Good. Alright. Oh shit, he is right there. Creamy man, distract him. Alright, evasive maneuvers, creamy man. There we are. <laughs> Good. Alright. Man, it's surprising how how being able to do the roll dodge actually does have an effect. <laughs> well, maybe it doesn't, I'm just imagining it. But it sure does feel like it's actually working, doesn't it? Alright. Pick into this. What have you got? Anything? I mean, it is silent, right? When we do it, we don't make any noise. We totally make some noise. <laughs> Alright. What's over here? Biography of Baron's Eye, folded cloth. Now that's something we need some more of, some folded cloth. Alright. Anything over here? Burgundy shirt? I think we have a lot of those. In fact, I think burgundy pants we already had plenty of as well. Okay. Let's see. Do you think he'll mind if I just kind of... Let's see. Going around here. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Alright. Just uh, reach my hand out over there. Very carefully pick it with, like, the tips of my fingers. Oh, look. They have, like, a little meeting place down here. Maybe? Or just a whole lot of chairs. Maybe this person makes chairs. Oh, maybe that's it. It's like some sort of carpenter. All right. Man, so finally we know where all the... <laughs> all the carpentry for at least chairs comes from, huh? Man, it's such a popular style, too. You got really lucky with that one, Ruslan. Good day. What's up? Oh. Nope, nothing to say. Good day. Maybe we've Bye. spoken with them before. Alright. And let's see. What's next? Up here we have Laronk and Greythroat. Okay. Good. This one should be easy enough to sneak into. I don't remember Laronk either. Huh. It must be that these folks are from different districts. Maybe we met them last time when we were going through. Oh, look, it's Laronk. Alright. Let's see. Let's just sneak around back here. They don't even know someone came in the front door. Alright, what have we got in this? A patched vest. A oh, god, the creamy man was about to say something. What's over here? And Huntsman's vest, calipers. I've heard that Nord warriors have <laughs> traveled from Skyrim. Alright, let's go on up here and see what he's got. There we go. Alright, oh look, also doing some painting, I guess. Okay, let's see, chest filled with gold. Okay. I mean, I guess there's not that much else to do. You can read, you can write, you can paint, or you can, I guess, make something? I suppose you could make some sort of... Yeah, do, like, carpentry or something. All right. Let's see. <laughs> God, I don't know how the people of Tamriel do it. They don't have no video games. What else is there to do, right? 
Damn. <laughs> All right. Where's the video games? Where's the Netflix? Come on. What are you even supposed to do? No wonder they started the Mythic Dawn. Oh, there we go. He didn't notice. He didn't notice. Sneaking in. All right. No bounty, right? Oh, perfect. Laronk, you fool. Oh, shit, look! Are these his completed works? Dude, he's doing so much better than the other painter we saw. We didn't see any completed works, huh? In their place. Alright. Do some of this. I guess Laronk must be like a concept artist or something. <laughs> Alright. Let's head on up and around here. Laronk, what's up? Well met. What do you do? Nope, nothing? Okay. Good day. Fair enough. Nice paintings, by the way. See ya. I just I, I just came out of the basement. Don't worry about that. Let's see. Greythroat's place. Greythroat is probably not home. Probably just spends all day and night researching vampires and how to defeat them. Right? Private quarters here. Good. Let's see. What's inside? What secrets await? Alright. And let's see. A little fun chest over here. Good lord. All right. Oh, cure disease. Oh, of course. For doing vamp hunting, right? Of course you would have some in reading Darkest Darkness. Oh, look at this. Man, the attention to detail, honestly. All right. Oh, whoops. Oh, we missed the jewelry box. Oh, God, we missed it again. There we go. Got it. <laughs> Third time's a charm. All right, what have we got? Eight gold. Okay. Well, drawers filled with parchment, hourglass, inkwell, nothing much. Okay. More pears. Pears, very popular in this district. It's gotta be said. Alright. Tan linens, calibers, stone cup. Anything over here? A whole bunch of venison. Do we already have venison? I don't know. I'll take one just in case. Onion. Apple. Okay. And check out the fun basement. Maybe a whole bunch more tools for fighting vamps down here. Right? No? Okay. Eh, they can't all be winners. Alright. Let's see. Anything over here? Clogs. Calipers, I guess we'll take them. Man, how many calipers are we gonna have by the end of this? Thief of Virtue, Darkest Darkness. Alright, you gotta be careful, Greythroat. People see those purple books and might think that you're actually down with the Dagon. Alright, anything over here? Crate. Ooh, some sexy red pants. Been a while since we saw those sexy pants, huh? Goodness, we used to find those pants all the time, especially with Resist Cold. But lately? Ooh, man, there's been a real shortage of them. Alright, let's head on out over here. Yeah, this dude totally never comes home. <laughs> he totally just spends his days and nights in there trying to learn about vampires and how to fight them. Man, he's so dedicated to the cause. Oh, jeez, who is that? Was that someone, or am I just tripping balls? I thought I saw someone over there. Well, that's scary. <laughs> I thought I saw someone run through the alleyway. Oh god, that's terrifying. Oh look, hey, a beggar. Let's see, are you a beggar that we have yet to speak with? Yes! Alright. Please be generous, kind sir. Oh my god, what? Ah! What kind of a beggar are you? <laughs> She's a demon! She's down with the Dagon! Let's see. <laughs> Let's add her name. Rag Bag. Okay. Rag... Bag... Boontara. There we go. Boontara. Cool. Whew, man, I was getting worried that we wouldn't find the beggar of this district. Assuming each one has a beggar. Thank so. you, Karen, sir. Oh, God. Weird. There's something... Hang on. Let's see. Blessings of RK upon ye. Was it just a, a weird fluke? I'm so hungry. No! She doesn't do the weird beggar yes, voice on that one. One more coin and nope, I'll there she goes. a pair of shoes. Oh, God. That's strange. Lessons of Mistara <laughs> upon you. All right. Fine, fine. Oh, who is this? You have the hands of a human. Oh, thanks, Jer. I'm Jer. I'm a dip. What? I'm a pickpocket. But oh. relax. You're safe from me. You look like you might take offense. Too risky. Uh, okay. Good to know. Thanks. How about the city? You have to watch out for pickpockets in the city. You'd be surprised how many waterfronters earn a good income that way. Ah, uh, yeah, you'd be surprised. Huh. Thieves, Jer, good lord. But also, Shadow hide you. I'm a dip. 
Let's see. I'm about to dip my hands into some of this. What do you have? Jer's key. <laughs> I'm a dip. You, I'm a dip. All right. City Isle. <laughs> I've never heard someone refer to themselves as a dip. Is it because you take a dip into someone else's pockets or belongings? Is that it? Like you dip your hands into their pocket? Hmm. All right. I'm going to have to remember that one. <laughs> All right. Let's head on back over here. Oh, there's that fun looking inn. All right. Cool. Now, should we finally get ready to fuck with these pirates and stuff? I guess so, right? I mean, if we are truly clearing all this stuff out. Oh, hold up. Is that one of our beggar friends over there? So no, this I've person heard. is wearing shoes. Isn't there something Lenarius Covincial. about buying discount spells? Discount spells? I'd just as soon buy a slightly used shield. <laughs> Have you not heard? <laughs> the Oblivion Crisis has ended! Martin Septim... That was the first we heard about discount spells, though. Daedra Horde. We've never heard we that one victorious. before, have we? I hear you. <laughs> you Man, Conventionally is not worried about Jeff? that at all. Sorry? Not even on his radar. copy of the Black Horse Courier per customer. Oh, that's who you are. That's why you're so familiar. Oh, man. That's probably why I didn't give a shit. He's so weathered. All right. Puny Ancus. I'm only asking for enough to feed me, kids. Man, Ancus, you are so puny and small. Here, have a coin. Thank you, kind sir. All right, let's see. Puny Ancus. What a strange name for a beggar. Usually most of them um, refer to their state of, like, well-being or whatever, like, Oh shit! No, I'm I'm very poor. I can't even have a shower. Oh no, Blessings my clothes are bad. Me? me, I'm so poor, so now I'm short. I'm very short. <laughs> what a strange thing! Oh, I'm just a a little tiny short guy. Oh, look at me go! I don't have any money. <laughs> Someone help! Which is quite the opposite. When you hear of short folks, you tend to think, Oh my God, is this a leprechaun with like a million super duper gold pieces of gold? <laughs> That's terrible. All right, let's see. And here, light brown what? linens, especially when I myself am quite on the short side. All right, chest here, calipers. Let's see. Down here, Imperial Watch barracks. Let's see. They've got a little secret barracks down here. Oh, yeah, look at all this. Everybody get down here snoozing. All right. Oh, look. He's watching over his friend as he sleeps, keeping him safe. Oh, how sweet. All right. Let's go into the lighthouse. The underground lighthouse? What the fuck? <laughs> Dude! Valen Andis! What, <laughs> what are you doing down here? Why is this the lighthouse? What? <laughs> Man, there really is all sorts of weird and wacky things in the Imperial City, huh? Alright, Valen Andis? What's going on? I'm the lighthouse keeper, Valen Andis. Okay. I'm surprised that you're not up a level or something. <laughs> the, man, the guards really just butted their asses in here, didn't they? Jeez, you want me to, like, murder them? Get them out of there? Let's see, let's go on up. And then, let's see. Up here to the actual lighthouse, I'm guessing. There we are. Oh, look. We can't actually get to the lighthouse section, can we? And see it. Huh. All right. Anything else in here, though? A value? Biography of Baron Zaya? Some big barrels? Hey, take what's up. Let's see. Folded cloth. What? Anything I else? A, a little thing. meeting area. Alright. Patched vest. I think that's our second one. Quill. Inkwell. No, 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 no. Folded cloth. I think we already have two of those now. Okay, and then in here, quill, repair hammer, and broom folded cloth. There, that's one we need. And this barrel back here. Oh, there we go. We got two of those now, too. All right, good. Let's see. Head on out. City Isle. Good. All right. Let's see here. Man, imagine having to get these ships in and out. Like, look at the direction this thing is pointing. How would you even get it out of there? This is just like Anvil all over again, right? <laughs> Man, it's that's the only way it's possible is that wizards maneuver the boats, right? Because you can't keep selling this boat this way to turn it out of here, because you're just going to smack right into this little number. <laughs> How does this work? How did we ever get out in this? Gosh, 
Those boat thieves, man, they were so good at maneuvering it. Shit, maybe they deserved it. Stealing it in the dead of night, and they managed to get it out here? Fucking A, dude. Take the whole fucking boat. Take the whole harbor. Just take all of it, dude. You have my ear. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Let's do a quick save because we're probably going to get in a fight with these fools over There's here. An air of mysticism oh, Hilla the Outlaw. What's up with you? You wear the shadows well, fellow thief. Oh, my God. Hillid, are you... Are you a dip? Hillid, I might be a dip, too. Wink. You want to start dipping? You'll never leave the feed bag on an empty stomach. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Shadow high Let's see, over here? What is this? Oh, yeah, th these are the fun pirates. I avoid those things whenever I can. Horrible creatures. Bye. Morning. Good day. What? No All right. Hello. Errol Good day. Or Errol Dill. Let's see, rumors? They say a thief actually stole one of the Elder Scrolls from the Imperial Library. My god. Who would have thought it was even possible? I know. Gosh, I didn't think there were any thieves in this city. Be By the way, I'm a dip. Oh? <laughs> All have right. you heard any word about the other provinces? Sounds like the Empire has given up on stopping the skooma trade and elsewhere. Okay, okay. I ain't got nothing to say to you, fancy pants. So why don't you mind your own business, huh? Man, clearly he doesn't know that I'm like the legendary super pirate Lyle Schnub. Come on, man. I ain't got nothing to say to you, fancy pants. So why don't you mind your own business, eh? Okay. Let's see, how about you? I hope I made myself clear the first time. If you get near that ship, you'll end up dead. Now get out of my face. I mean, we have to try and get on that ship, don't we? We have to. I hope I made... All right. She won't say anything else. She'll just threaten us. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, what's this? Oh, is this your ship? Oh, wow. It's so beautiful. Wow, I've never seen a ship like this before in my life. I've never seen any ships. Uh, what? Man, is this even a ship? I'm not sure. Is this it? Oh, look at me. I'm on the ship. <laughs> is that what this is? Oh, I didn't know what you meant. <laughs> is, this, is this the ship? Oh, gosh, look at this. Wow, ships are nice. They're cool. Are we in combat right now? I think we are. <laughs> she, can't, she doesn't know how to get on her own fucking ship. Look, she's threatening us and stuff. <laughs> She's mad as hell. She doesn't know how to get over here. Ooh, look at me. I'm on the ship. I'm on the fucking ship. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Eralder. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. Here. Okay. Let's take care of some business here, then. Oh, look at Eralder's fancy hat. Oh, jeez. Did they just kill him in one hit? Oh, my God. Eralder. Eralder, no! I'm taking your money and key. All right. <clears throat> There we go. Am I supposed to? There we are. And doink! You're off the boat. Let's see. There we are. Oh my god! Holy shit! Look at that guy go! Whoa! Fuck! He came back! <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! He can fly! What is this Peter Pan ass shit? All right. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. We don't have a bounty do- Oh, shit, we do. We totally do. <laughs> Alright. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, hang on. I need to- I gotta get my- my stuff. Let's see. Uh, what, what's it called again? Oh, jeez. Oh, god. Fist of Bug Musk. There we go. Alright. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let's see. Hang on. Hang on. Is- is everything fine? Oh, god. Oh, dear god. Alright. Let's see. Can I- can I send her flying off, too? <laughs> and watch. She'll come flying back. Oh. Oh. Maybe not. Oh, she's gone forever. Oh, God. Oh, oh she came back. All right. <laughs> all right. There he goes. Dope. All right. And then watch. They'll all come back on. Oh, no, they won't. Oh. Only sometimes do they come back. That was so weird. Why did that guy come flying back like that then? Why did that happen? <laughs> there she goes. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. All right. <laughs> it's a long range spell. <laughs> Fuck, these pirates are awesome. All right. 
Can I yield to her? Nope, she doesn't give a shit. Okay. There we go. I might be the better pirate here, miss. Alright. Let's see. We're, if you want to have a pirate duel, you come to the wrong place. I, I'm also the super champion of the arena? I don't know if you heard. I killed a musician! Let's see. Uh, eat a butt. Uh, there we go. Man, look. She's actually not half bad herself. Look at her parrying my shit. Alright. Let's see here. Should we cheat? Yeah, let's cheat. That's pirate way, huh? Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> Man, nice shot! You shot her right in between her cheeks! Alright. What have you got? Uh, some buckled shoes. Take some of that. Silver arrow. Sure. Why not? Alright. Other greaves? Any of this? Eh, nah, 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 nah. Alright. This guy, look, he's, he's come back somehow. Who knows how? Alright. There we go. Take care of this business. Good. May as well drink some potions there. Let's juice up, huh? There we are. Good. Okay. Good. What have you got? Anything good? Eh, just some clothes. Alright. Where's this other dude at? Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at the creamy man's little cream poking out. Oh, that's so sad. Alright, is this guy still trying to fuck me up? He might be. Who you looking at there, friend? <laughs> He's trying to lock on to somebody. Oh, there's a secret shirtless man here. Uh-oh, you better watch out. He's right over here. Oh, guards, I see him. I see him. There's a shirtless man prowling about in the water. Oh, you better go take care of him. Don't worry about me. Here. Oh, we're going into the captain's cabin. Do you think Your she's got anything good? Oh, shit. Oh my gosh, these pirates are mad as hell. All right, let's see. Let's buff ourselves up a bit. Get some healing going. This Why not? And juice up a bit. There we go. Good. Okay. Oh, Shazbot. All right. Let's see. Oh, good lord. You know what? Here. Do a little bit more cheating. Why not? There we are. Oops. Accidentally held it down a little too long. There we go. Shit, look at his Breton passive coming in. Oh, jeez. There we go. Got you. And... There we are. Good stuff. Alright, juice up again. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Good lord, it's been a while since we actually had to fight someone, huh? There we go. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, let's yeah, paralyze him a bit. There we go. Sorry, creamy man. Had to be done. All right. Whew. <laughs> Poor fucking creamy man. He goes through so much. All right. But he loves it. Let's see. Olive sack, cloth pants. Okay. Let's see. Grapes. Let's take some sweet rolls. Oh, look. These are all free to just take. All right. Let's see. Anything fun out here? Oh. Oh, is this like another version of the world? Because that guy is in here? No, it can't be. Yeah, because you can jump here, right? Yeah, that's part of the quest, is you being able to jump there. Okay. Let's see, some 415 vintage. Okay, and this dude, his sexy pants. Oh, look, they're booty. Captain Toussaud's booty. All right, but we had already obtained all that. Let's see, a note. Remove the top first, reach inside, take... Oh, uh, yeah, we've heard that before. Seal it with pine tar. Little desk here. Guide to Bruma. Okay, what's in the lower level? Let's see, heal on up first. Good. There we go. Cool. And let's see, was that one lady's name Maria Elna? Was, she, was the ship named after her? Oh, look. Oh, it's a pirate in here. <laughs> what is. Wow, what a twist. Alright. Let's see. Ah! Poor creamy man. Alright. Let's see, let's take some of this. There we are. Good, do we need to juice up any? No, we've got plenty for now. There we are. And slice up this old bastard. There we are, juice up finally. Good! Yeah. Good job, creamy man. You've done good. Take some of that. And anything on this dude? Maybe we'll take some of that sackcloth, why not? A little sack here filled with wheat grain. There we are. Good. Let's see, anything in these barrels? Normal cloth. 
Huntsman vest. Another sack here. Gold and tongs. Okay. Let's see. Chest breeches. All this stuff is not stolen. Okay. More of this. There we go. More folded cloth. Yep, 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 yep. Take all that. Oh, look. We can actually sleep on this boat now. The lower deck. Okay. Take their food, I guess. Since it's not stolen. It took me a bit to even realize that none of it was... Or counts as stealing. Alright. Let's see. I guess they're... They're just supposed to be criminals, right? So we can freely take it. Man, wild that they just let them shack up there. <laughs> Whereas us in the Thieves Guild, we have to go through all sorts of stuff to stay hidden, right? And meanwhile, these pirates, they can just hang out. Do all sorts of fun stuff. Alright. What do we have over here? Oh yeah, this is what we snuck out of, huh? Alright. We pretended to be a sheep or something? Okay, what do we have over here? Anything else? Whole bunch of sacks filled with shit. Alright. Tan jug. Pewter mug. How about here? Brown shirt. Okay. Let's repair up. Queen Berry's gotten a little low. Alright. Another chest here filled with hourglass and scales. What about this? Same thing in these? Garlic? Guess I'll take that. Alright. Cool. Let's head on up. Alright, we still do have a... Yeah, we have a bounty, so we need to be sure to... ...carefully... ...get rid of it. Alright. Let's see. Man, just leave a whole bunch of naked people in our wake. Okay. There we go. Cool. Great! Hey, Mathrodel! Hi! A pleasure to speak with you. Let's see, can you get my... find some bounty? No? They... Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, good talk. Shadow oh my hiding. god! Look at your pants! Jeez, she's got like a little vagina flapper. Goodness, her vulva's just out, exposed to the world, just behind that little flap. Greetings, Look, her bare Brother. skin is right there, isn't it that? Like the Knights of the Nine. That's You're not part of the design of the... Insane. What the You're fuck? Collecting holy oh my god, look, yeah! <laughs> wow! Mithridel, sure I never noticed all this time. You're wearing some kinky pants. Oh, look. It better be good. look, he's totally Stop forgotten right about there. me. Oh shit. Alright. If it's a fight you want, it's a stop. Oh dear God, he ain't gonna do it, is he? Then this is the part. Which it's oh all shit! Oh my God, yeah, this guy then sucks. All right, here we're just gonna have to run all the way over here. Oh shit, someone's a vamp. Oh, that's Fathus Ulase, isn't it? Okay. Look here, out. we're gonna. We're, let's just go over to. Oh look, it's Armand. Armand Kristoff. No wait, that's Aislev the open-handed. Where's Armand at? Do you think he's in his house sleeping? Let's see, maybe we can get rid of this bounty real quick. Let's see, Armand. Knock, knock, Armand, I'm coming in. Let's see. Oh shit, he ain't in here. Alright, we gotta go to Daraloth's. Okay. There we go. Excuse me, I'ma say. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh god, the Thieves Guild is probably duking it out with that guard, huh? Alright. Let's see, go on over here. And yeah, let's see. Good thing Fathus Ulase went into deep cover. No way! Everyone cheese it! Well, they found us! Oh god, pay off my finds the bounty. Alright. Pay off my finds. It. There we go. Great! Shadow. Okay. Trouble? Oh. No, no trouble here at all. This is just a normal house. Why don't you head on out, sir? <laughs> Move along. <laughs> here, you can use this door. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Man. Well, that was close. Good thing they won't remember any of this. <laughs> Alright, good. Let's see. Cool. Well, <laughs> fuck me. When next we come back, we will check out the remainder of the waterfront. I believe there are some beggars oh. around and about here that we should oh. speak with, right? Good lord. I can't believe we discovered Methrodel's dark secret. <laughs> good god. I can't believe I never noticed that. Did she always Hello. wear those pants with that tunic? I don't think so, right? She had like a full set of leather. Didn't she? Maybe not. Maybe not. God. Man, what a wild world. World of Cyrodiil and Oblivion. Oh, how beautiful. How wonderful. How magical. Alright, when next we come back, we'll search through all these houses and then go on to the next district, huh? Until next time, peace! <laughs>